Oh my God, that can't be true. Look at that. A hundred and four? Heat index, incredible. Oh my, it's hot. Bobby, is that real? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Bobby's like, oh yeah, yeah. 105 to 110 every day. 105 to 110 usually. Lately, yeah. Wow. It is hot, it's humid, and you, you see that. I mean, that's just a, a big number. That's a but huge number. Imagine if you were having to sit and learn in that in heat. that kind of heat yeah some students in hillsborough county are dealing with those very very hot classrooms hillsborough county tells us they have 15 to 20 schools in the district that are high priority for fixing their ac units 10 news reporter shannon vial delete explains why the millions of dollars the district receives just isn't enough to fix this issue Let's start off by breaking down those numbers. Hillsborough County school leaders say they receive about 125 to 135 million dollars every school year for maintenance projects. They tell me that half of that goes to paying past debt from maintenance fees. So that leaves the school district with about 30 million dollars to fix the current AC and roofing projects. And they say this 30 million will only fix about a handful of schools. Aging school buildings, old air conditioning units, and less state funding. All factors contributing to this. Hot schools. Superintendent Jeff Akins calling it a crisis. It, it's, it will not go away until we get the assistance we need financially uh, in order res to resolve this issue. From 2002 to 2009, the district received 164 million in PICO funds, which are used to purchase large assets. In the last several years, it's dropped to 19 million. It's 145 million less dollars in the last seven years than we got to seven years before that. During the last um, five or six years, the majority of the dollars have shifted to charter schools um, from the PICO funds. Aiken says the average age of schools in the district is 49 years, making it more complex to fix the air conditioning units. Spot coolers like these have been brought in to help the issue, but inside Hillsborough High School, they're doing little work. Temperatures reaching 92 degrees. Maintenance staff around the high school showing us the issue. In this case, it was the air handler not working. It pumps cold air into the classrooms. Aiken says calls to the state legislator for more money have failed. When our legislature hears the voice of the parent and how it's impacting them and how it's impacting their students, uh, there seems to be a different response. Shannon, you said $30 million. That is a lot of money. It's a lot of money, and I know a lot of you are wondering, well, isn't that enough to fix the problem? Well, there are 230 schools in Hillsborough County. So I want to break down the numbers for you to show you why it can't be done at this time. So for elementary schools, the cost is $3 million each. Middle schools, $5 million each. 7 to $12 million for high schools. River Hills and Potter Elementary received new AC units this summer, but as you can see, that's a whole lot of money. Mm -hmm. And Shannon, you talked about House Bill 7069 as well. Mm -hmm. That bill makes school boards share construction money with charter schools, and some districts have sued. Is Hillsborough County planning to do the same thing? Yeah, so we ask Aikens, and he says currently the district is not talking about suing. He says, quote, it hasn't impacted the district significantly enough. So that could be something that changes in the future, but as of right now, no, nothing talked about suing. And still these kids are having to sit through this hot, hot, hot temperatures in their classrooms. Well, they do want to reiterate that they have made accommodations for some of these students. So in this case, for Hillsborough High School, they took them to the auditorium. So they're just doing the best they can. But still, it was hot there. I was sweating. So I can just imagine how uncomfortable they might be. Not ideal. Thank you, Shannon.